All right, how's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project Jim here. Now today, I'm going to put together my own attachment for the IBC tote in order for us to drain water out of here. Because if I were to flip this switch right now, water would just come gushing out. It's a little difficult to control. Can't hook up any garden hoses to it. So I'm gonna make a little attachment here just to make the water a little bit more usable for us. I already used an attachment before for one of our Hacienda totes and I got that online and it works really well. But I'm here today, I'm going to make my own. The cost is probably pretty close, but with making your own, it's just a quick trip to maybe a big box store to pick up a few parts or maybe even have some of these lying around. And then you can get your IBC tote hooked up like that. So some of these things I picked up and some of these things I had lying around. The first and foremost part of this is a cam lock. I picked up this gator lock cam lock. Seals up to the totes really well. I picked this up at Tractor Supply. It is about 16 bucks, so it's a little bit of an investment. Next, I picked up a two inch bulkhead fitting, PVC, and then a two inch to three quarter inch bushing, a three quarter inch brass faucet, and I think you could pick that up whatever to your liking. It's just a simple little ball valve inside there. Very simple design, very nice. Then of course, a little bit of Christie's Red Hot, Never deal with PVC without it. And a little thread tape. I got the Odies, but uh, you know, if you got your preference. With these cam locks, this is already in the lock position. If you need to unlock it, you just push these little buttons here on the side. Then it's ready to go. But I'm gonna start here by threading up my two inch bulkhead fitting. I'm gonna put this tape on here counter to the way the threads are going. That way when I put it onto the cam lock, it doesn't loosen up the tape. And I'm actually gonna go around this thing three times. Three times the charm. Just gonna screw this into the cam lock. Like so. I'll be back with you right after these messages. I'm going to attach the cam lock onto the tote to get it secure and then I'm going to tighten this up a little bit. All right. I'm not gonna lie, putting these cam locks on can require a little bit of strength to get those levers in. Okay, now it should be on there pretty tight. Now I got my bushing, a little PVC glue, I'm gonna glue up both the bulkhead and the bushing. Get that firmly seated into place. Then I'm gonna go back to the thread tape, thread on my faucet here. Again, just going counter to the threads. Whoop. Just don't drop it. <laughs> and just screw that in. All right, I'll bring you back in a little bit and we'll test this out. But meanwhile, I'm gonna head over to the other tote, do the exact same thing. All right, so it's been sitting for a bit. Should be good for the reveal. Let's see how this works. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I'd say that looks like a pretty good success to me. Looks like a pretty nice install. DIY IBC tote attachment, ready to go. 
And now we can use our first flush water for watering plants in the garden. Should be ready to go. Now I'm just gonna clean the glue off my fingers. <laughs> that I'll be set for the next project. Now stick around because I am ready to start plumbing to our main water tanks. You don't want to miss it. Thanks a lot for joining us everyone. We'll catch you on the next video. All right.